Welcome back. It is 8.39 on your fun Friday morning and kids are officially back in school and this means the summer to fall cleanup time has also arrived. We got organizer extraordinaire Christy Robinson of Sparks organizing with us now. Christy, good morning to you. Good morning, Joelle. Always nice to see you, Christy. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. You know, some people might be a little behind if they haven't done this yet, but let's talk coats first because it seems to be kind of the bulkiest clothing rotation of the year. We had from hot to cooler temperatures. It is, and I like to encourage my clients. I have so many people that say to me, I don't have a lot of space in my home, but what we do is we make space in the home that works best for you. So this is just a simple, thick, um, shelf we can put this in the basement in the garage and then we've got bins so i like to place these on these bins we've got everything labeled make sure you label because then you know exactly where it is what it is and that's in that bin so the actual coat so what i did is i wanted to have two just to kind of give you guys a visual so here are six spring and fall coats mm -hmm. and then here are six spring coats in the exact same bin I tried to do comparable, so there's a jean jacket in here, there's a jean jacket in right. here. What my key trick to maximizing the space in your home and to maintain that organization is you'll see how much space these six coats take up. These, vacuum sealed them in these Ziploc space bags. Oh. Okay. And these are my go-to. So they're the vacuum bags. You can get them in various sizes. And then right here, I've got six bags, or six, sorry, all space bags in one container. But the thing is, is that I can literally add probably another 12 coats, and I just have the one bin that I have to concern myself mm -hmm. in terms of coat rotation. I love that so much, Christy, and I've got a lot of puffy jackets, so they need to be just downsized a little bit. Now, kids need shoes for everything. I remember having some for gym class, some for walking to school, some that could get dirty and some that couldn't, you know? So how do you suggest parents organize the storage? I completely agree. So this is my go-to storage solution for children, typically under the age of 12, because they have smaller shoes. Honestly, I'm going to be very easy with it. Throw it in a bin. Make sure it's, you know, it can be something that's very aesthetically pleasing for home. You can have it this way. These are fantastic bags because they're waterproof on the inside. But then the kids can take their items, throw them in the bin, and we can put that in our mudroom, maybe nice and tidy under a bench. Done. Yeah. It's out of the way. He's tripping on his shoes when they walk in the door. Nice and accessible, too, for all heights here. Uh, we've run out of time, so we can't get to mittens and toques, but Christy, uh, say this is overwhelming mm -hmm. for parents or someone like me that just needs to organize myself. Uh, we've got professionals like you that can help out. Yeah, I like to say to people that what a professional home organizer is, is we're kind of like a personal trainer for your home. <laughs> so we come in, we create practical functional systems. So you get out your door, your home's most more calm, you feel a lot better, you can get out the door faster. Okay, so you're whipping our homes into shape. I like that, Christy. Thanks so much for all <laughs> those tips. Uh, to get in touch with Christy, you can head to sparksorganizing.com. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day.